It's time for Eric Blaze Multiplayer Civ 6. You guys just had a long, uh, in a good way, weekend with the family over. And now it's time to get back to some Civ 6 multiplayer. Of course, for you guys watching it on YouTube, you're not going to notice any difference. Alright, so we've got Tbilisi here in Georgia. Um... Two turns to make my first scout. Do I go up towards the desert? Do I, I think it's more. It's going to be more land here where I want to make. Might want to make my second city, so I'm going to go south. Save that game. Of course, it's entirely possible by the time I play this again, I may forget which direction I was going and end up just wasting that dude. But that's okay. Uh, so we'll play my turn. Next game. And go back out to the main menu. Low man, did I hit the wrong thing? There we go. So my brother Dave, unfortunately, I'd wanted to do a uh, game of Spelunky with him on here, just have some fun recording it. Um, but uh, it was not meant to be. So it's just too much to do this weekend, and uh, this is with us going to bed extremely late every day. I am exhausted compared to my normal situation for the weekend. Um, but yeah, so I'm not sure when we'll get to these turns again. I'm sure he's not going to be in any state to play tonight, but you never know. Um, from my, uh, my server here, I don't know if it's... Uh, bug in the Linux kernel, but it's been having this issue where if you leave it going too long, it just locks up and needs a hard reset. It's been very annoying. It wasn't happening before, but it had been quite a while since I had updated, so maybe the kernel introduced something, I'm not sure. It's entirely possible also that it could be related to me reconfiguring um, reconfiguring uh, NFS and not doing it right, doing it in a way that's more likely to have issues or something. Man, these guys just move fast. I remember that happening last time too. Alright. These early turns are so boring in a multiplayer game. Especially with the longer load times. And apparently now, longer to main menu times. Forgot if I mentioned on here, I started watching the Orville. The game's a lot of fun. I mean, that game, the TV show's a lot of fun. Um, it's uh, neat to see a different version of Star Trek because really it's interesting that in all the years of Star Trek being around, nothing else is kind of. I guess there was a uh, Babylon something, right? But for the most part, there hasn't really been anything to challenge it out there. And. I feel like for the amount of people there are in SF fandom, there'd be enough to support at least a couple shows, so it's kind of neat to see that show, and the fact that it's not as much of a parody as, as I thought it would be, which parody would have gotten tiresome pretty quickly. Um, do, do, do. I saw Dave today um, while he was here over the weekend uh, start a Maori game. It's definitely weird to start Civ out in the ocean. Alright. I didn't even get to tell him what to go this time. He just went.
you ever wondered what an Xbox receiver looks like on the inside, it looks like this. Dave was trying to help me figure out if the fuse had blown. Um, according to his uh, uh, analysis, it looks like something's wrong with the cable, but we didn't have time to try and make a new cable while he was here. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to try and stretch myself to see if I can do that or if I'm just going to uh, wait till the next time he's here, whenever that happens to be. It might be more than a year away, I'm not sure. game is this? What's happening? Alright. Um, oh, Berlin's about to grow. Um, it's a pretty big civilization I got going on here for just turn 45. Alright. We've got this archer here, so why don't we lure him back to range? He's not in range now, is he? He might be. Where's my... No, he needs to come one closer. Like this is the coast. Let's go over here. That, that was weird. I found there he is, Jerusalem. Interesting. Wow, this guy's really taking the long way around. Just uh, what if we're playing that inner inner ocean map? Nope, continents. It's just a strange looking continent. From humble beginnings, you have shown remarkable growth. Leave your bronze for iron, and rule with horse and sword. The sky above begins to reveal its secrets, a collection of heaven that uplifts our hearts and guides us to foreign shores. All Spain stands ready to answer your prayers, devout King Philip. From your palace at El Escorial, you can send forth your followers, missionaries, apostles, and conquistadors, ready to strike out across the seas to spread the good word about your most holy. Most holy, holy, solely. Start turn. Alright, Dark Age, I guess. Um, Dan has accepted my delegation. New York needs housing. What can we queue up in there for housing? Let's see. New York. Spearman. Campus. Yeah, Granary will give us a couple housing. Let's do that. Having just gone through my Canada game, single player game, I'm thinking that uh, potentially that uh, my cities in that last game I just finished up might be too close together. And that's going to limit my options for laying districts and or wonders.
From humble beginnings, you have shown remarkable growth. Leave your bronze for iron, and rule with horse and sword. The sky above begins to reveal its secrets, a collection of heaven that uplifts our hearts <coughs> and guides us to foreign shores. Queen Sandu, the stars reveal you lead Korea to greatness. Build Seun to educate your people, for the secrets of the world are theirs to uncover. For those who would steal your knowledge, treat them to a rain of rocket-propelled fire from your Huacha. Reach for the heavens, shrewd queen, and your people will be... The poets have been mysteriously silent on the subject of cheese. Mm. Realistically, I'm probably not going to produce an oracle. But... Alright, let's do this. Let's discover some new governments. Let's build a quarry. Let's go see what's up there. Shouldn't be anything, you know, so close to us that's unknown. All right, we'll just go on alert for now. From humble beginnings, you have shown remarkable growth. Leave your bronze for iron, and rule with horse and sword. The sky above begins to reveal its secrets, a collection of heaven that uplifts our hearts and guides us to foreign shores. All Spain stands ready to answer your prayers, devout King Philip. From your palace at El Escorial, you can send forth your followers, missionaries, apostles, and con <coughs> So I'm pretty sure I didn't talk about this because, um, because I was busy with guests and I haven't done a, uh, multiplayer sieve yet, but... The poets have been mysterious. Hmm. Do some theology. All right, Washington. All right, looks like I have to choose. I'd rather have a trade route.
So I didn't think I had uh, spoken about it yet, but uh, I made some Amish um, friendship bread. Um, modified uh, America's Test Kitchen recipe, uh, which was, uh, they called, I think, Amish cinnamon bread. It was really, really good and a big hit with everybody. Um, my mom kept going back for more, which is, so she's a polite person. That's how I know when she likes it. If she says she likes it, that doesn't really mean much, but if she keeps going back for seconds and thirds, that's good. And, uh, and everybody else, um, really liked it a lot. I think my wife had the last piece today for, uh, All the world's breakfast. a stage. Huh, I guess they changed the drama quote between, uh, expansion packs. That's kind of funny. Alright, did I lose anybody? My catapult was attacked. My warrior was attacked. Oh, gosh. Okay. Attack him. Run away. Let's go for the walls. Royal boots, I like it. Uh, no one for him to attack right now. I guess I should have attacked this catapult. That would have made more sense. Oh well. Alright, let's increase his strength against land units. Let's come up there. Zone dark. Alright, um, I'm just gonna automate you. No one for you to attack at the moment. I can just stay here for now. Stay there for now. Come this way. Come this way. There. Oh, he's just chasing him. God darn it, I'm trapped. It's not going to go well for my settler, I don't think. I've got two guys to fight. It's probably going to get weakened a bit too much in the next turn. Or the turn after that. Last one, this one where Dave bailed out. From humble beginnings, you. So the bread was really good, and uh, what they did with their recipe is they give you a recipe that makes two loaves. So I gave one to Dan. Uh, so maybe he's been having that for breakfast, or maybe he took it to his in-laws today for bought his contribution to their their uh, weekly dinner. Um, what else did I make? Oh, I made this um, chicken, uh, stuffed chicken dish where it's stuffed with uh, mozzarella cheese and pesto, and that was really good. It was really, really good. All right. So it looks like the enemy has effed off. Let's just heal everybody up for the time being. See if it was Dave playing, they'd be, they'd be uh, pressing the advantage. But since it's a computer, I can heal up my units and then just eliminate the Chinese. Um, in the meanwhile. So let's uh, change things up a bit. It's not finding a computer. Computers are dumb. I don't quite need to be as aggressive with my war carts. Let's do a shrine. 
Granary Monument Barracks. Oracle there. Um, Quadrim. Do that there. Aaron Kadu, let's do Shrine, Monument Granary. Sipar. Let's do Ancient Walls. Granary Monument. Chengdu. They're working on walls. Let's repair that. Let's do a granary. Can you take this blue piece off, please? Sure. Thank you. Thank you. And then... Let's do an encampment. Uh, let's do it here. Alright, I think that's good for setting up things. This turn I might get back soon if Dan has his laptop with him tonight. But uh, usually I'll just play a one turn game. Alright, so there we go. That's that. This has been Eric playing Civ 6 uh, multiplayer, and I will see you next time. Bye.